here we are at stage door where Dr. Zhivago, the musical, a new musical, is playing. And I'm going to take you on a backstage tour. This is where we sign on. Here we go. We're entering the, the world of the backstage. I notice here on the, on, on the wall all the shows that have been here, all the signatures of cast members. Coming through here, we've got the male ensemble dressing room. All the boys here. This is my area here, which is nice and tidy, as you can see. Let's come this way. Same thing again, the female ensemble dressing room. Oh, this is Joe. Han Joe, Hannah, look at you. you. You're in here by yourself. What are you doing in here after, well, after everyone's gone home? Putting on some makeup so I can go out to lunch. Oh, aren't you wonderful? Yeah. Well, we're just going to have a little sticky beak. This will be the mess. Is this your chair? So this is, I actually haven't been this far yet. One, one as you can do with a camera. All right, let's, this way. We're going to go up now. We're going to go and interrogate wigs. Wigs and wardrobe. The people you see, Peter Carroll, everyone. Um, Say hello to the camera, Peter. Hello, wigs. Hello. We have a little chat with you about wigs. Yes. Can you tell us how many wigs, that's Trisha's wig, how many wigs do we have in the whole, in the show? We actually have over 40 wigs and facial hair as well. Now, what's the uh, procedure in terms of maintenance with these wigs? What do you have to do every night? Well, we, we dress them, which is to do what Shane's doing at the moment. We clean them because we glue them. You shampoo them. And they've had a, just had a conditioning treatment added in. So they get washed, conditioned, they'll be set and dressed. So for all this, what, we've got a performance at 8 o'clock tonight. What time would you usually get in on an 8 o'clock show? We have, we have the whole day. We really do work in shifts the whole day to get the show ready. Take note, wigs work very hard. This is Sue, our wardrobe headmistress. Tell us, how many, how many costumes have you got in the show, Sue? Oh, around 2,000. No, you don't. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. 2,000. Yeah. How many loads of washing? About five or six. <laughs> five or six loads of washing. And, and ironing, ironing all day? Ironing, ironing, ironing. Look at this, look at this, this is good too. Look at this, this is everybody's, everybody that's in the show has all their, the white shirts, the stockings, the socks. It's like a pigeonhole of costume. We've got Anthony, look, Anthony Warlow's got about four or five shirts there. Look, socks, handkerchiefs. My Lord. I mean, I knew he had a cold, but that's ridiculous. Let me ask you this. At the end of the night, who's, the, who's got the dirtiest costume? You. Oh, Sue. <laughs> You're very mean. Who do you dress on the show, Simone? Whoopsie. Lucy Maunder, yeah. playing Lara. In there. Work. Look at this, look at this, look, 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 look. Anthony Warlow. Anthony Warlow's shirt. Drying. That'll be on eBay before you know it. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Fitting, because we're in Melbourne. Always need an umbrella. Come this way. I'm just going to quickly just go up this way and, and have a look at um, the star dressing room. It's going on. Uh, excuse me. What are you doing? What? This is Anthony Warlow's dressing room. What are, what are you trying to do? It's always been uh, one of my dreams, obviously, to play Dr. Dr. Zhivago. And I just thought I'd, I'd go in and just see uh, if, 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 if there was any costumes that I could put on. I've tried on a few other things and the wigs really fit and I just wondered maybe I might be able to go on one night and I just want to be prepared and he always locks it. Right, right, get out of here, will you? We can't have that. And we've got to go down into the quick change, what we call the quick change area. Now this area here is for, for makeup throughout the show. This will always be busy. Because the show has lots of war scenes in it and things like that, there's constant need for dirt on the face. So you'll always find these chairs occupied. This is the quick change area. This is also another very busy area throughout the show. You'll see that there's lots of coats. It's a Red Army coat, communist coats, sort of peasant outfits. Let's say, hypothetically, I've got to go on for one of the scenes in Act 2, so I'd be probably dressed in this coat. This is what I'd do. I'd come this way. I'd look up on the monitor, just to double check where we're at, through here, and up onto the stage this way. This is the OP side of the stage, and this is one of the wings that one of many actors would go through. Yeah, if you come this way, you get an idea of what we would otherwise be seeing from this point of view. Come across this way to Prompt Corner, which is sort of the command station. This is where the stage manager sits, and this is where the show is called from. All the cues are called from this station here, and that stage manager can oversee everything that's happening. I haven't shown you this yet. This is the sound desk where all the microphone checks happen. You'll see here all the different channels that correspond to the different cast members. So before the show, all the cast members will come over this side, and they'll get a, what they call a microphone check, then to give the clearance for the show to, to begin. We've pretty much covered everything. 
Uh, that's my backstage tour for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.